Okay, this video will be about trimming the glider. Um, if you're going to paint the glider, do that before you go ahead, go ahead and trim it uh, because uh, the paint is going to affect the glide. Um, I also have the rubber band installed and I do have the rocket motor installed. Uh, so at this point we're ready to actually go out and fly. Um, so again, uh, as I showed you before, to uh, throw it, put your finger back behind the wing and then grab it with your other fingers behind. Um, and then the technique is we're, we're kind of kind of pushing. Uh, you might get a paper airplane and practice throwing a paper airplane, but basically we want to kind of push it and then kind of give it a little up. Uh, that's to prevent you from throwing it down into the ground. Because if I say throw it like this, you're going to throw it right into the ground. So you want to kind of push it and give it a little up. Uh, so the first toss is kind of just a gentle toss uh, just to see where the glider, whether it's going to nose dive or pull up. Uh, I don't have any nose weight on it or anything at this point, so let's, uh, this is the first throw, so let's see what it's going to do. Um, this one I've done, I've trimmed before, so we'll, we'll throw this one and see what this one does. And they're go, both going about the same place, so we're, we're starting out good. Okay, so it it's, doesn't look like it's doing anything radical. It looked like it was going straight. So our next throw is going to be a little bit harder. Um, and I'll throw it back this way a little bit. Okay, so I'm not sure if it, it did that funny thing because I threw it funny or if it was wanting to turn left. Uh, we'll try it again. Okay, so this time it does seem to want to turn left. So since we know it, it wants to turn left, we got to figure out why it wants to turn left, and then try to figure out what we're going to do to make it stop turning left. Um, typically, it might be the wing is high on one side, you know, which would cause more lift here, bring it up over, and kind of dive down. Um, or um, I'm going to try just kind of gently twisting the board. See if I can get the tail to have a little bit of a warp that way so that uh, it will kind of even itself out. Right. Okay, so I'm going to take out a little bit of clay. My next trick is to, to put a little clay on the wing that wants to come up make a little bit heavier. So I got a glob of clay. I'm just going to stick it on the bottom of the wing. Right there at the tip. That. I'm doing a little toss. Okay, so that was too much clay. It, it did level out, but uh, then it then it went into a right bank. So that tells me I got too much clay under there. So I'll, I'll take about half of that off. All right. Well, that looked pretty good. Okay. So I'm happy with with the glide, and now we have to see if it's going to pull out of a dive. And the only way to do that is to throw it straight up and then see if it will, see if it will transition into a glide. So, this one's going to go a little bit higher. Okay. Okay, so it didn't, it didn't pull out fast enough for me. So what I'm going to do now is just warp the tail up just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of up. I don't want to do too much, because if I do too much, then it's going to do a little squirrely on the boost. So, okay, here we go again. We're going to throw it up. Okay. Well, that, that was better. Um, 
I just didn't have enough room for it to come all the way around and to level out. So we'll try one more. Big, big throw. Okay, so it did, it did pull out of its dive. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with this. If I could, if I could throw it higher, then I, then it would level off and then go into a nice glide. All right, so it is every time now it is pulling out of its dive. So I'm happy. So we'll go ahead and launch this thing and see what it does.